Good morning everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is 68th Mahaparinirvan Divas. First of all, let's see why is it in the news. Center and state governments are conducting various programs and taking various initiatives to mark the 68th Mahaparinirvan Divas of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar on December 6. Now let's discuss about Mahapari Nirvan Divas. It is a Sanskrit term which means release or freedom after death. Pari Nirvan is regarded as one of the major principles as well as goals of Buddhism. As per the Buddhist text Mahapari Nibbana Sutta, the death of Lord Buddha at the age of 80 is considered as the original Mahapari Nirvan. 6th December is observed to commemorate the unfathomable contribution to society given by Dr Bhim Rao Ambedkar and his achievements owing to Ambedkar's status as a Buddhist leader his death anniversary is referred to as Mahapari Nirvan Divas Now let's discuss about Baba Saheb Dr Bhim Rao Ambedkar He was born on 14th April 1891 in Maho, Central Province, now Madhya Pradesh. He was a social reformer, jurist, economist, author, polyglot orator, and a scholar of comparative religions. In 1916, he received a doctorate degree from Columbia University, becoming the first Indian to do so. He is known as the father of the Indian Constitution and was India's first law minister. In 1956 he converted to Buddhism. He established a fortnightly newspaper Mook Nayak in 1920 which laid the foundations of an assertive and organized Dalit politics. He founded the Bahishkrit Hitkarini Sabha in 1923 devoted to spreading education and culture amongst the downtrodden. Now moving on to political participation of Dr Ambedkar He was appointed by the Bombay Presidency Committee to work with the Simon Commission in 1925. He led the Mahat Satyagraha in March 1927 to challenge the regressive customs of the Hindus. In 1936 he was elected to the Bombay Legislative Assembly as a legislator that is MLA. In 1947 he was appointed chairman of the drafting committee for the new constitution. He was the Minister of Law in the first cabinet of independent India and he resigned from the cabinet in 1951 over differences on the Hindu Code Bill aimed at reforming Hindu society. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding the Dr B R Ambedkar. 1 He was the first law minister of independent India. 2 He led the Mahat Satyagraha. Which of the above given statements is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.